Hey, perps. <laughs> So I've been up since like 9.30, I just haven't been doing anything, I've just been on YouTube looking up videos. I was just about to have some of my breakfast. It's so funny how they have sharing size on there, like, that's too funny to me. <laughs> sharing. There's three things I would never share. Sunflower seeds, my man, and most importantly, chocolate. Um, for breakfast. Let's see what Tiffany's having for breakfast. She's having some M&M's. She's having an energy drink. And she's having one cold breadstick left over from yesterday. And yes, I am ashamed of my diet. But, but pretty soon I'm going to go out and I'm going to get something healthier to eat. I might get pizza again. You're a liar. <laughs> There's lots of vegetables in pizza. And and there's dairy products in pizza. That Dairy's good for the most part, right? Because it has cheese, cheese and milk. milk and that doesn't count. Still Don't tell me what counts and what doesn't count, Jasmine. Let me show you guys my centerpiece that I made. Another DIY that I got from Pinterest. Beautiful. Isn't it? Ah. So... I got these two vases from the Dollar Tree. Right now the table is not looking very cute, but I promise you it was looking cute before because I had like this whole setup. There was a whole setup, but maybe I'll just do the whole thing over again. Anyways, so I got this vase from the Dollar Tree and since I don't like flowers, <laughs> I wasn't going to put flowers in it. So I was like, what other use can I do with it? So I kind of just flipped it over and turned it into a candle holder. So I have two of these over here. Then I have two regular purple candle holders. And this isn't supposed to be here. I just happened to, it was supposed to be in the kitchen because it's the vanilla one, but there's no place for it right now. So I just placed it here with all the other lovely candles. This is my favorite candle of like all time. So that's why it's here. This is the only thing that, the only candle that will actually be used. And once it's done, I'll just get a new one. It's Sunshine Tulip, and I always get it at Walmart. Who would have thought Walmart's candles would be the best? But it is. And I think their Sweet Pea one is really good, too. And then, these aren't really flowers, flowers. But I did get this from my other job, which is a fabric store. It's They sell it around the Christmas time. It's more of like a mistletoe-type decoration. But I thought it was really cute, and I bought it like a few years ago. Or about a year ago, I don't know. And I just stuck it in the purple vase. <laughs> I had this purple vase for years now. Someone gave it to me for Valent Valentine's Day. And I threw out the flowers that were was in it. And I just kept that. So yeah, that's it. Got this idea off of Pinterest. And then I have the purple elephant over here on this side. And everything else you're seeing around the table is going to be moved by the time I turn off this camera or after I turn off this camera. All right, so I'm getting ready to leave. I have to run some errands for my mommy because she's at work and I promised her I would. And then I wanted to get my toes done. Let, let me show you guys what my toes look like. Ugh, just a glimpse, not looking cute. So I wanted to get it done, but I was trying to save money, but I might end up doing it anyway. We'll see, and I might accidentally go into a thrift store too. Accidentally, but I'm running kind of late, and I'm going to leave right now. Say bye to my babies. Bye, babies. You guys are gonna help me clean the house when I get home. All right, love you too. Oh.
So tell me how as soon as I leave the house I need to use the bathroom and not just like a little bit like really really bad. I hope they have a bathroom in here. Alright so there was no bathroom. There's a gas station but I'm not that desperate. <laughs> So I pulled up to the Dollar Tree. All I wanted was some garbage bags. That's all I wanted. But Mother Nature had other plans in store. In my last vlog, I was mentioning how they stopped letting us eat our, at our desk at work. Um, they claim that the reason they did that is because we, when we eat, we drop lots of crumbs and there's like a big, like a huge book problem. And I thought they were lying, I really did. I called them on their bluff. And then, I had to find out the hard way that they actually were bluffing. While I was sitting at my desk, trying to take calls, minding my own business, I saw a huge roach crawl out from I don't know where. And I was trying to be professional. I was very professional. So I calmly called one of the janitors over and I said, sir, there is a roach on my desk. And then, and then after that, I started to panic a little bit. So like they brought like a squad of like five janitors out and they all came and they were like binding the little creep. They're spraying him down and sweeping him away. Thank God they got him and killed him just for me. I'm, ser I'm serious, like a, a squad of like five janitors came and killed the roach for me. It was so funny because when I told the janitor about it and he walked away and he came back but I didn't see when he was coming back so he just kind of appeared out of nowhere and he was like did you find him and I screamed when he like like I jumped after he <laughs> after he walked up from behind me because you know like I'm already like you know I'm jumpy and everything I'm like don't be coming up on me like that first of all don't 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 do that first of don't do that not right now while I'm dealing with this issue so yeah they killed it and they got rid of its body. I saw the body, so like I'm good now. Cause I was telling them like if they didn't, if they didn't show me a body, like I was gonna leave work. So that all worked out. I have people killing roaches for me at every job place that I go to. Everybody knows my fear, and they're always looking out for me. So I'm still stuck in the car. Oh, <laughs> so I'm still stuck in the car. I don't know where all this rain is. Actually, I do have an idea where this rain's coming from. I'm pretty sure it's one of those hurricanes that's in the, the waters right now or tropical storms or whatever. Since I don't look at the weather as much as I should, especially during hurricane season living in Florida. What was I saying? As much as I should be doing it, I don't. But I think because it's so windy and stuff that it is one of those storms out there. Let me go hop on Google, make sure I'm not like in the middle of a hurricane right now. So I don't know if I can get into trouble for this, but I still haven't found a bathroom yet and I have a ton of other places to go to before I can get to a clean bathroom. So since I was in the neighborhood of my job, I'm just gonna run in there really quickly and use their bathroom and um, I'm like in short shorts and like flip flops so I don't know like what they're gonna say and I'm not scheduled to work today, another thing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be really quick. I hope no one sees me although it looks like there's a lot of people out here right now. I'm so nervous. I can't even feel my legs. Alright, I did it. Feeling good. It's so funny, in the short time that I went in there, um, one of my, um, co my close co-workers was walking out of the bathroom and someone was walking in and she started making fun of her for her um, her outfit because she wasn't I guess she wasn't wearing a bra or whatever and she was telling her she was wearing a paper bra 
and then she goes oh this is the benefits to for those girls who have like little boobies you know we can get away with not wearing like any bra or whatever and then she turns and look at me she goes right Tiffany <laughs> I'm like, don't bring me into this. I already get enough flat-chested jokes from my mom at home. <laughs> don't even bring me into that. Like, don't do that, right, Tiffany? So you probably so you kind of call me flat-chested, really though. <laughs> All right, so I'm done doing my nails. I gave you a glimpse of it. I'm trying to get back in the car, but it's raining again. Yet again, my luck, my luck. So I'm gonna try and run over to the car really quickly and hopefully I don't get my nails messed up. I have to make sure they're completely dry because I have to put on my sneakers soon to go work out. And gosh, I just saw lightning, I gotta go. <laughs> Just leaving the workout. Energy level is down to the ground. That's the sad part about um, the downside to not having cable anymore. And the only is that I'm not able to see my tennis anymore and my basketball. So it was the US Open now, so I was trying my best to watch as much as possible while I was at the gym. Murray was playing, and that's my boy. Not my main boy, that's Rafael Nadal. And then my girl is Serena, but <laughs> yeah, so I only I watched a little bit. Men's tennis goes on forever, so I couldn't watch too much. And I'm a little irritated right now. Probably because I'm a little hungry and this guy in the car next to me won't stop staring at me. He's acting as if I got something stuck in my teeth. Arby's, one of my top three favorite restaurants. Alongside Wendy's and Denny's. All the E's to go with the Tiffany. But they are expensive and I am not a cheap person. I am frugal and I like to budget. And Arby's is usually not in my budget because of their prices. I need help picking out what I want on the menu. I like those loaded fries, but they're so expensive. And the, um, the, what's the size, the serving size is so small. I think they're trying to copy the, um, the Baconator fries from Wendy's. But if they're going to try and copy it, they're going to have to actually like match the price too. But I like the, I actually like the fries better here. The loaded fries or the baconator fries, whatever. But yeah, they need to step their game up. Since I'm cheap, I'm probably going to get, actually I might actually end up getting those fries. <laughs> I'm here complaining, 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 but I'm probably still going to get them. So about to eat my first official meal of the day. It is now 6.15 p.m. Not a.m. kids, p.m. I love Corey and Big Brother. Like, he's one of the only guys I know who really gets into Christmas, like Christmas like that. I think we would mesh well together. Reindeer, there's snow everywhere. I've always wanted to go to the North Pole, make toys all day, sing Christmas songs. I mean, what a life. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so this is for um, Pursuit of Nappiness. Check out her YouTube channel. But she, in her last vlog, she had this like really, 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 really incredible cute Yoshi bag that like a flip inside out with like the rest of like the the Mario characters and I told her like I wanted to show her mine first of all you guys don't judge me because this is not this is mine it's not like for any child or anything but this is my Yoshi <laughs> and I, I I mean I can't carry anything in it it's like this tiny little pocket right here but I just like to like wear it every once in a while just because it's cute and I I love Yoshi. <laughs> 